I'm Trisha Royst. I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I do with this magic paint called Free Flow. Free Flow is an acrylic paint. The consistency is ready to go and it is three times the intensity of pigment so that the colour re retains its intensity all through the different techniques for which we use it. It's a um, artist quality paint, the pigment is true and we can do everything with this paint that we can already do with acrylic uh, Italia Interactive but more. The beauty of this paint is that it dries with a flat uh, surface that is totally amenable to mixed media processes. It receives all types of media on top of it and also can go underneath all types of media. First thing I want to show you is just how beautifully the paint is released from the bottle. You can see that that, that beautiful fluidity is present as soon as that paint is out of the bottle. There's no need to mix it with water or any type of medium. That paint is raring to go. As with Atelier Interactive, if we want a beautiful gradation of colour, first thing we have to do is just give a slight cover to the canvas of our clear painting medium which provides a beautiful slick surface and just in this area here I'm going to grade the free flow from blue through to light blue to just a beautiful little yellow tinge right at the beginning. So I start with French Ultra Moving through white and I'll introduce the yellow as we go. You can see the intensity of that colour, just absolutely gorgeous. And we start working towards a beautiful gradation of the blue. See how beautifully that is just gone right over all that textured surface. Now I'm just going to introduce the teeniest, tiniest little bit of yellow. So you can see how gorgeously that paint has created a gradation from the blue down through the clear to the yellow in the horizon. Straight over a surface the paint has a quality like gouache but the beauty of this paint is unlike watercolour and gouache which, which dry with an unstable surface in that if it is re-wet that surface becomes wet again and wants to combine with whatever is on the top. Once this acrylic paint is dry it remains stable and can receive glazes and further painting over the top. I have a red canvas prepared here. One of its beautiful qualities is the beautiful opacity it has and its ability to cover other colours. A true test will be to see how the colours can go over red without being sunk down into it. So I'm going to do a yellow ochre over the red and this beautiful turquoise over the red and you'll see how they dry, they stay on top of the, of the um, on top of the red and do not sink in and do not become submerged into the red.
Down here we'll try the same thing with the turquoise. Pure colour. What a beautiful characteristic of paint. And then we'll bring some up here and mix it beautiful lime green. So if this paint has that ability to be so opaque and cover and retain its brilliance, how does it conduct itself when we want it to be transparent and work in a watercolour way? Well, I'm going to place the transparent quinacridone magenta across the top of this watercolour paper and I'm going to spritz it and we'll see how beautifully it stays transparent as it bleeds down the paper. Italia makes the best spritzer. It has a beautiful even spray that gives us a lovely even spritz. So I'm just going to spritz this. And it's really obvious how gorgeous The retaining of its transparent quality remains in there. Now I'm just going to add a little blue Just take it over the top with a brush. And spritz again. So you can see how it easily belies the opaque, gouache-like finish in retaining that gorgeous, transparent glow. How gorgeous is that? And you can see how intense the pigment remains. So we've seen how beautifully the free flow goes over a freshly gessoed textured canvas and how gorgeously it retains its transparent qualities when pushed over a pristine watercolour paper surface. How does it go over charcoal? This piece of paper has had charcoal pushed in with water and after that has dried it has had charcoal lines and white pastel placed over the top of the paper. The ability of free flow to be used in mixed media is extraordinary and we can place we can place the free flow straight over the charcoal pastel 
see where it's gone over the pastel see where it's going over the charcoal it's amazing its ability to go over such um, unstable surfaces another thing that's really great about this paint if you have if you have a pet syringe that you like to draw lines with you don't have to mix your medium into your acrylic paint anymore you just pour your um, free flow straight into your syringe and do all your favorite little curly cues etc pop your syringe straight in the water and it and it's ready for the next time. What about using free flow over a soft mixed media surface on watercolour paper? I'm going to run a stripe of free flow over this. I'm going to keep one edge of the stripe hard and I'm going to spritz the other edge. The colour that I'm using here is aralamidamide yellow light. Putting a soft spritz on one side so you can see the graduation from the flat covering where everything is obliterated to it becoming a beautiful glaze on one side. It still retains the beautiful texture of the leaf underneath. What about using free flow as a straight glaze? If we have different areas in a painting or in a mixed media that we want to unify, for example, this work of course is not finished, but we just need to add a beautiful glaze down one side. I do actually mix the free flow with the clear painting medium for a glaze. So if I want to run a glaze, so I do the same thing. I just put out a little paint, a little of the clear painting, clear painting medium. And I'm mixing a glaze, so I mix it with the roller. It takes a lot less paint in the free flow than it does in the Italia Interactive to create a beautiful glaze full of intensity and colour, but retaining its beautiful transparent characteristic so that what is already there in the mixed media is still there. So you can see how that beautiful glaze just shines and how intense it is. On my palette, I have placed yellow and turquoise. On the watercolour paper, I have placed water in a design. What I'm going to do is run with the hakes, the free flow, across wet and dry areas of the paper
Now, with Free Flow, as with other acrylics, you can mix your own colours, and this is a, a mixture of blues and yellows until I got a really lovely bright green, and I'm going to do the same. With the third brush, lovely and wet. These free flow colours retain the intensity of the pigment. They've retained beautiful hard edges where the paper is dry and have lovingly flown into each other where the paper is wet. And this is a beautiful underpainting for a drawing or I could continue this as a straight linear landscape. Free flow's beautiful qualities of a matte finish and intense covering of colour. Make it a perfect medium for drawing, for painting on glass and plaster and wood. If you're drawing on glass and you want to paint on glass, the area first that you are going to paint needs to be covered with binder medium. So this nasturtium shape was painted in binder medium. I've outlined that shape with a liner brush and black free flow. And how beautifully the paint goes on with its lovely flat cover and intense color. So I can keep painting that and on the reverse of this coaster, the glass painting will show through. If you want to paint on glasses or any glassware that is going to be used, just be sure to varnish your work at the end with Jo Sonia's satin varnish, inside, outside, uh, varnish and you don't put anything that's been painted through the dishwasher, you hand wash it. Any wooden objects can be painted straight with free flow. If you have time it would be good to give them a covering of binder medium but this side's been painted with green and you can see how beautifully the paint covers the surface with just one coat and that's without a protective seal and then of course you would go ahead and varnish that the same way. I make my plaster moulds and as they're drying I make sure that I attach the hook for hanging. After the plaster is dry I give the whole shape a cover of binder medium to seal it. This has been then drawn on with a liner brush and black free flow. And it's just ready to receive the beautiful paint. Hopefully you can see how flat and thorough the paint is going on and how perfectly it is giving a cover of paint to the design. No end to what you can use free flow for in your various enterprises. Usually when we use acrylic paint for our printing, stenciling and stamping, we apply the paint and then we have to put clear paint medium in with it to roll it out to be the perfect consistency. With free flow, 
we merely roll out straight from the bottle until we have a beautiful thin layer approximately the same consistency as we have to work with through with um, our um, Italia interactive we've got a nice thin layer of paint here our stamps we can use manufactured stamps or we can use our own stamps we merely paint the free flow on the stamp stamp with pressure you can use leaves or anything with texture of course and we have a beautiful stamp the free flow adds an extra element of intensity of color to these three um, techniques So we've stamped with the free flow. Now we're going to place the blue on our print plate, which is just a leaf pattern that has been cut into a piece of styrofoam. We've got a beautiful thick layer of paint. We're going to stamp it coming down here. Now remember this print is on a textured surface so there's no way that it is going to print as cleanly as it would as if we were doing it on paper. A nice heavy jar. Make sure you get pressure all over every edge of your printing plate like I said you can print leaves or anything that has texture and the free flow gives us a print. While this is still wet we are then going to make a print on white tissue so we just place the white tissue over the printing plate press to see that all areas are printed Then very carefully peel that tissue paper off the plate and you have a lovely print on tissue paper that you can then collage into your work after you've layered your initial glazing of colours. For stenciling now we're going to move to our sponge roller and pick up the paint from our palette And we're going to create a negative shape with a stencil first. And where the paint has gone into the sky, we're going to leave that lovely, see where it's picked up the texture. So we're just going to let that, I'm just barely touching the sky with the roller there. But here, I'm going to add a little more paint to the inner edge. And then I'm going to spritz the outside because it's very important with a negative stencil that you have enough paint around the negative shape that is left in the stencil so that it's the shape that is red and not the paint around it. So we're going to lift the stencil. Then we're going to spritz the edges of the paint just so that that paint moves out further into the painting. Can you see how that negative image is now 
reading much more solidly than just with a little bit of paint around the edge. So we have our negative shape as a stencil here. I have this purchased stencil and I'm going to leave a positive shape now and we're just going to move it over into this corner and run our free flow paint on the sponge roller into the stenciled shapes and leave the positive image so hopefully you can see how beautifully free flow is adapted to each of those three techniques, printing, stenciling and stamping. Here we have acrylic skins which are made by mixing impasto gel or heavy gel gloss with binder medium into which you drop free flow. You can either leave the free flow isolated so that when you place it on the canvas, the canvas comes through, or you can scrape the colour with tools, or you can mix two colours. Here we have the red and the blue. They are mixed and then spread out. White free flow is dropped in. These skins are made on greaseproof paper and when they're dry they just lift straight off the paper and we use them as an extra collaging element in mixed media. If you're interested in learning how to do them we cover them in the DVD which deals with mediums and textures. Free flow is ideal and perfectly ready for using in making your acrylic skins straight from the bottle. Thank you for watching our new free flow product from Chroma. I hope you've been inspired to purchase it and play with it. You won't be sorry.